Hello, and welcome back to a new episode of Eric Makes a List. I'm Eric Hansen, the host of Epic Trails and Eric Makes a List here on YouTube. Now, I have had some incredible experiences in my lifetime of outdoor adventures around the world and with filming on Epic Trails. And I thought during this time of reflection that I would bring to you a few of my top five, top 10, maybe top seven experiences around the globe that I've had. Now, this one is for all you photographers out there. Some of you may not know it, but I am a, a quite the photography buff and I love, absolutely love time-lapse photography. So if you are a time-lapse photographer, you must stay tuned because this is my list of the best time-lapse destinations for anywhere in the world. Now, before we get into the video, I'd like to ask a quick favor. Please like and subscribe here to our channel. It really helps us get our word out and make our impact greater into the YouTube community. We are constantly striving to bring you great, hilarious, informative, educational content. And uh, I hope that this is uh, nothing short of that. So without further ado, I would like to present to you my top five time-lapse destinations for anywhere in the world. If you've ever gone on a hike or a camp out or a trip with me, you know that I usually have my camera in tow and tripod as well. And I'm constantly on the lookout for places to set up my camera to capture an epic time-lapse. And so here I'd like to go through my favorites that I've ever captured in all times and also talk about the destinations themselves as incredible locations to shoot your time-lapse photography. Coming in at number five on my top five list here is the outback of Australia. Yes, it's kind of a large place, but I'm gonna be mostly focusing on the Northern Territories and where we were to film the epic trails of the Larapinta Trail. Now, deserts are notoriously great places for shooting time lapses of the night sky, of course, because of the crisp air, and as well as the great dusty atmospheric scenarios, which create some of the best sunsets you could ever ask for. Australia, of course, has all of that and then some. My time on the Larapinta Trail afforded me some great opportunities for some overnight time lapses. We had a beautiful camp last night, first night on the Larapinta Trail. The stars last night were unbelievable. I've never seen a Milky Way quite like that. So if you are keen to set up and stay up overnight, the Larapinta area of the Northern Territories is absolutely incredible. Now, the outback in general is just fantastic for many reasons, but it is truly a photographer's dream place to go and just run around like a wild man or woman uh, and just go have fun with your camera. I know that I sure did. Revelstoke, British Columbia is known for many things. It is a fantastic place to go play. If you are a mountain biker, a rock climber, a skier, this place has got you covered. But did you know that it is also an incredible place for time-lapse photography as well. That's right, my friends, number four on my list is Revelstoke, British Columbia. Now, the mountains of British Columbia are staggeringly beautiful, and you could spend a lifetime there exploring these mountains. But Revelstoke is a specific place within this mountain region that is just unbelievable and truly has a place in my heart. It's one of my favorite places I've ever been to. Yeah, this looks so impressive in here. Yeah. Such a cool rock. Yeah, I'm loving it. I'm kind of sure. freaking out. Now the mountains are amazing and they provide constantly changing light. And I love them for so many reasons. As the sun is going down through the mountains of British Columbia, it provides some staggering sunsets and is a beautiful place to watch. Of course, my favorite, the Milky Way pass by overhead. Now I happen to be camped high up on Mount Begbie and perched my camera up on a precarious rock and captured right by where I was sleeping, the Milky Way passing by over Mount Begbie as we slept and prepared for an early morning ascent up the mountain and happened to capture one of the better time lapses of my lifetime and one of the ones that I'm pr pretty proud of. So if you're looking for a good mountain destination for time-lapse photography, look no further than Revelstoke, BC and our friendly neighbors to the north of Canada. Thank you very much. Oh, this feels good. Oh yeah, nailed it. Nice work, awesome, Mike. man. Yeah, wow. hell yeah. Number three on my list, we're gonna be going back to the desert, the Middle East that is, and we're gonna be heading to the desert of Wadi Rum in Jordan. Wadi Rum is an incredible place. You've probably seen Wadi Rum in any Star Wars film that's ever been filmed, or any film that needs Mars as a backdrop, well, Wadi Rum is the place for you. It's 
name means the the Valley of Pillars. There's just these massive rocks sticking up out of bright orange sand dunes. It's about the coolest looking place I've ever seen. It's just a fantastic desert and there's so much here. Wadi Rum is spectacular. It has shifting sand dunes and these amazing mud rock sandstone towers that just form an otherworldly place, which is why it is used for so many extraterrestrial films. But if you are a photographer, you will love this place for your ability to capture night time-lapse photography, morning sunsets. You ask for it, you got it here in Wadi Rum. I had a particularly special experience here. Now we filmed the very first episode of Epic Trails in Jordan, and it was just such a wonderful, wonderful place to explore that I actually decided to take some extra time after we filmed, and I spent 10 days on my own, and most of the time, I either went back to Petra or spent four days in the Wadi Rum Desert, literally by myself, just running around with my camera, having a grand old time. And that afforded me an opportunity to go shoot some of my favorite star night time-lapse photography that I've ever shot, as well as just have an incredible solitary experience there in the desert. So if you are looking for an amazing place to capture otherworldly scenes, and if you are looking to capture the worlds beyond, look no further than Wadi Rum in Jordan. BC Canada is home to some of the best and most beautiful landscapes that that country or North America has to offer. And off of British Columbia, technically attached, there's a strip of land called the Sunshine Coast. It is a beautiful spit of land that is technically connected but it feels like a whole other world because it is so remote and hard to get to. But the Sunshine Coast is home to some of the best time-lapse photography places that you could ask for. Where's the hut? Is the hut nearby? The hut is very, very close. Should yeah. we check it out? Let's do it. All right. Now I happened to get a bit lucky one night, I will admit, as I was camped at the Tin Hat Hut, which is also one of the best places to camp in all of British Columbia. The Tin Hat Hut offers an incredible vantage point, not only to just sit and stare at the sun, but of course, once again, my favorite is overnight time-lapse photography. My time here at the Tin Hat Hut, I set my camera up overnight and couldn't believe the luck that I had as I happened to capture some of the most remarkable colors of the Aurora Borealis as they passed by overhead. The Aurora Borealis does not typically come down as far south, so I definitely happened to get quite lucky. The yellows and purples overhead came through in a spectacular way and got possibly my best time lapse I've ever captured. Well, this is an exciting spot. The top of Mount True Bridge, highest point on the Sunshine Coast Trail. So if you are looking for an incredible place to hike and bring your camera along, the Sunshine Coast of British Columbia is truly one of the best anywhere in the world. I'm sensing a trend here, and while Canada has not been the only place we've ever filmed in Epic Trails history, it seems to be making some repeat appearances here on this list. Because number one on my top five list of best places to shoot time-lapse photography is Banff, Alberta, Canada. How's it going? Good, thanks. Yourself? Doing great. Welcome to Banff National Park. Thank you so much. This is our playground. Oh man, this is spectacular. Now Banff is known for its crazy blue waters of Lake Louise and its staggering mountains covered in glaciers. So if you go with your camera in tow, you will have an incredible time. I happened to do a backpacking trip out to Baker Lake and once again got a little bit lucky with my camera, its position, and what happened to be happening in the atmosphere overnight as I slept. I perched my camera at the edge of a still little lake with these beautiful mountains in the background, just hoping to catch the stars as they moved by overnight, captured in the reflection of this mirror pond. Now, also, as I slept, I happened to get uh, a little call of nature and went out at about two in the morning to go relieve myself when I looked up overhead and saw green pulsing light shooting over my head. It was, it was really amazing. I just stood out as long as I could while, before I got cold and I had to crawl back into my sleeping bag. Yeah. But uh, I didn't, didn't expect to be able to see them. No, here. that's cool actually. I wish you'd woken me. I was trying to sleep the whole night. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah? Luckily my camera was clicking away and capturing the whole scene, but I got my favorite, truly my favorite time-lapse sequence I've ever shot before as 
a Steve Ray, which S-T-E-V-E. I don't know what it stands for, but it is a relatively rare phenomenon as it passed by within the Aurora Borealis, a wave of red light also passed through. I happen to be quite lucky to just happen to capture it all. So there you have it. There's my top five list of best time-lapse destinations anywhere in the world. If you are a photographer like me, make sure you go and check these places out. And if you just happen to be an outdoor enthusiast, well, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy these places yourself as well. Make sure you bring that iPhone because you might get lucky yourself. Thank you so much for staying tuned here to our little channel here. If you did like the video, please like and subscribe so that you are staying tuned for more videos as we pump them out. Thanks so much for paying attention. I'm Eric Hansen. I'll see you later.